again, it's Dan Wilson, one of the editors of Tame Bay here, um, recommencing our series of weekly videos, which we've been having a bit of a break from in uh, the last few weeks. Sorry about that. But we're back now and lots to share, lots going on. It's the busy season. We've got through Cider Weekend. I hope it was a huge success for, for you and that your Christmas and seasonal sales continue to go well. It's, it's the time of year that it gets really busy. So I hope you're really busy and making loads of money. Um, big news, big stories. Uh, at, at last, you may say finally, um, it's overdue even, uh, Amazon Australia's launch. So down under, there's now a dedicated um, Amazon marketplace for people to sell on. Previously, it had been uh, Amazon sellers uh, could sell into the, to Australia and, and shoppers would buy from overseas, but now it's open, open for business there. So that's, that's a big change. We're going to look into uh, talking a bit about how you can sell on Amazon Australia in the next few weeks. Um, and there's also, if you take a look at uh, Tame Bay, there's um, an ex exclusive report um, on some changes to the Amazon for Business programme that's well worth taking a look at if you're an Amazon seller or if you're considering it. Um, lots going on there. Um, one of the big stories in the news, and it has a relevance to e-commerce and marketplaces, is, is the ongoing wrangling over Brexit and the deal the UK will get. And one quite tantalising um, subject is what's going to go on with the Irish border. So the border between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. Um, that's very much uh, where we are this week. Um, and one of the ideas on the table, although goodness knows if it will fly in the face of opposition from the DUP, the Democratic uh, Unionist Party, um, is to actually keep Northern Ireland, while still being in the UK, actually keep it as part of the EU, or rather within um, in all but name, the currency union and the single market. And that could be really interesting for online sellers if, if that came about, because it would mean that you'd have a sort of part of Britain where you could easily move goods into the EU and ship to the EU from if that border doesn't become a so-called so hard border. So um, keep an eye on that. Goodness knows whether it will come to pass, but it could be quite interesting. Um, also, don't forget this week that the uh, changes to the contact details you can include you can include on your eBay listings have come into force. Um, big deal there. eBay are um, issuing sanctions, have been for some time, but now they're absolutely in, in force. So check your uh, absolutely compliant there. And don't forget tomorrow, which is Wednesday the 6th, um, Tame Bay and GS1 and others are having a, uh, an e-commerce merchant meetup in London, um, at the GS1 building. So if you're interested in that, go along. There'll be some drinks and there'll be some talks. Um, hopefully a very convivial evening, maybe the first of your Christmas, Christmas outings. Um, but thanks for watching and have a great week.